new storm team. Hello everyone and welcome back to KX News at 4. Meteorologist Hunter Binstock here going to start off with a look at that storm team radar. A lot of clear skies out there this afternoon. A little bit of a band of clouds between Minot down to Bismarck. Really not going to cause too much in the way of cloud coverage however. Just a lot of blue skies this afternoon. We saw plenty of heating with those blue skies. Out in Bismarck right now, temperatures are going to be right at 53 degrees. Winds are at 4 miles an hour and our wind chills feeling like 53 degrees. Really no wind chills in the capital city. Your Wilson temperatures right now are going to be sitting at 63. Winds of south, southeast to 17. No wind chills for them. Humidity at about 33%. Temperatures across the rest of the state going to be in those 50s widespread across the state. Getting into those 60s in the more western portions of the state. We had 63 for Bowman, 68 for Beach. A couple of outliers. We have 73 for Wolf Point and 71 for Sydney. So some really warm temperatures out there to the far west reaches in, into eastern Montana where they saw plenty of warming this afternoon. Now we kept those 40s out further towards the east. We had 46 for Medina, 45 for Wishick, 50 up in Rugby. But looking at our lows for tonight, we're going to get back down into those 20s for the folks out towards the more eastern reaches of the state. Now those folks that are getting into those 60s and even 70s this afternoon, they're not going to cool down just as much. They're going to stay above freezing tonight. So it's going to be a nice cool evening out towards the west, a little bit colder out towards the east. Looking at our wind speed and direction, bit of a mix in the direction. We have that northeasterly component in the eastern portion of the state and then a southwesterly component for that more western portion of the state, anywhere from 5 to 15 miles an hour. So just a light breeze this afternoon, nothing too significant. Your absolute comfort point heating wind chill report. Temperatures are in those 40s and 50s, 60s and 70s across the state. No wind chills this afternoon, it's just too warm. It's feeling much like spring. Now looking at our precision cast here for the next couple of days, we have relatively clear skies today. Tomorrow the clouds will start to build in, so we'll start to see those clouds a little more in and out on Thursday, getting a lot more on Friday as we roll into those weekend hours. Now on Saturday we do have some rain chances in the early morning hours for the more western portions of the state. But we're really not going to see much in the way of rainfall. So we're going to see some sprinkles here and there. There's just not a whole lot of moisture with the system right now. So looking at it right now, going to start off as rain, especially on Saturday with those warmer temperatures on Saturday. We'll have a little bit more widespread of a path by Saturday evening. Now rolling from Saturday into Sunday, our temperatures are going to start to cool off quite rapidly. When we look at Sunday morning, we do have some mixed precip chances. Might see some freezing rain or just regular rain on the early morning hours of Sunday. Rolling through the rest of Sunday into Monday, Monday morning we're going to have another mix of that rain, snow, uh, rain freezing precip areas in the more central portions of the state throughout the afternoon for Monday as well. And then by Monday evening, it's just going to transition to rain as we start to warm up and get back into those 50s. Look at our wind gusts here for the next couple of days. Those 15s and 25s building in the more western reaches of the state, increasing to 30s and 35s for Thursday afternoon. By the time we get into Friday morning, they'll get a little more widespread. And by Friday evening, we'll have a very strong push of these winds. We're going to start to see those 40s and 45s. And those winds are going to carry until all the way through Saturday evening until Sunday. We finally start to see those winds calm down out in the west. Your Williston five day forecast says temperatures starting off in the 60s, cooling down to the 50s on Saturday, but Sunday we see a pretty sharp cool down down into those 40s and Monday right back up into the 50s, but some overnight temperatures staying above freezing. Your Dickinson five day forecast starting off in the 60s again, cooling down to the 50s for Saturday, Sunday in the 40s, and then warming up just a little bit for Monday. Your Minot seven day forecast temperatures starting off in the 50s for tomorrow, getting to the 60s for Friday, but cooling off for the weekend and a bit of a warm up for the start of next week. And we do have precipitation chances for Sunday into Monday for that rain, maybe freezing rain mixture. In your Bismarck 70 forecast, starting off with the 50s for tomorrow, getting to the 60s for a couple of days, back down into the 40s for a little bit, and then back up to the 50s and even some 60s by the end of the week there. And overnight temperatures above freezing. Whew, so well, yeah, looking that's to that. nice, but it looks like travel could be a little bit dicey Sunday night heading into Monday morning with that mixture. Not of really rain so and much. Snow. So there's not so much moisture in this system, so really shouldn't see much in the way of impacts to travel because it's just going to be so light. It's okay. You can almost ignore it from the amount of moisture that's going to be in the system. Well, I know our farmers need the moisture, so that's not great to hear, but I mean, for those who enjoy the nicer weather, I guess we'll take we it. We still <laughs> have plenty of April left for April showers. All righty. Well, that's that's good to hear. Thank you so much, Hunter. Still to come on KX News at four, scientists managed to land a rover on Mars with no 